Now I'm just going to show you how to melt compound chocolate. It's quite straightforward. You can either use a microwave or a double boiler. I'm going to show you both ways to melt the uh, compound chocolate because some of you don't have a microwave and some of you have microwaves and want to see how to do it. So first what we're going to do is I just have uh, some little bit of uh, compound chocolate. I'm going to chop it into small pieces. Now the smaller you chop your chocolate, the easier it is uh, for you going to me uh, for you to melt it obviously. So take your time and cut it into smallest chunks as possible. Now storing of your uh, chocolate or your compound is uh, you don't have to I see a lot of people storing the chocolates in refrigerators this is really not needed if your chocolate is properly sealed so even if your compound or your chocolate you want to store it like you bought large quantities and you want to store it you don't have to fret and you don't have to put it into the refrigerator even though even like I live in a very hot and humid place but still I don't store my chocolate or compound in the refrigerator so what I do is I keep it in the cartons that it's come in make sure it's sealed even though even if I've opened uh, one pack I reseal it back nicely and then store it in that carton in a cool dark room okay so make sure the room is nice and dark no direct sunlight and it's not very hot so if you have a room like that you know maybe your storeroom or you know any kind of a room where it's relatively cool you don't need to refrigerate it Okay, so I have a little bit of compound here. I have a plastic bowl. So I'm going to first melt it in the microwave. So obviously you need a microwave safe bowl. I'm going to put in for 40 to 50 seconds. My microwave is at, uh, I think about 800 to 1000 watts and it's on high. So uh, because it's dark chocolate, I'm going to put it for 40 to 50 minutes, uh, 50 seconds, sorry. If this was white chocolate or milk chocolate, both, both are very heat sensitive. So you don't want to subject it to uh, you know a lot of heat for a longer time so if it's dark if it's milk or white chocolate I'm gonna put it only for 30 seconds at a time so after 40 seconds it's out of the microwave and you see it's nicely melted so keep stirring. Now chocolate, any kind of chocolate or any kind of compound doesn't like too much heat. So the lesser the heat you expose it to, the better for your chocolate. Like, you know, it's not going to burn and things like that. So once you take out from the first 40 seconds, I want to keep stirring it to, uh, you know, allow it to melt in the residual heat which is there in the bowl. So I'm just going to stir it nicely because if you see most of it is nicely melted. Of course, the quantity which I I've uh, taken also is quite less so if you have a bigger quantity it's going to take a little longer time so once you take it out of the oven um, from after 40 seconds uh, keep it back for another maybe 20 to 30 seconds depending upon how much uh, chocolate is there left to be melted for me I think just about 20 seconds will do but the important point to keep in mind is at no time will you keep the chocolate, dark chocolate in the microwave for more than 40 seconds at a time. Okay, you can keep it how many of a number of times, but make sure the duration of each uh, melt is short. Okay, so 20, 30 seconds or even 40 seconds is fine for dark, dark chocolate. But if you're doing milk or white, the first time you will put in for 30 seconds. And after that, take it out, keep stirring and only put it for 20 seconds each uh, not more than 20 seconds for each time okay so i have just a few lumps here so i'm going to put it in the microwave and just for about 20 seconds and melt okay so if you see this is beautifully melted 
the shine is still there so this you can directly pour into uh, you know any molds if you're making like shells or if you're making chocolate decorations you can just pour it on your countertop and uh, you know uh, start making your decorations so this is the same technique for white and milk chocolate just that you need to be a little more careful and keep it for shorter bursts in your microwave. Now let's see how to melt compound chocolate in a double boiler. So now let's see how to melt compound chocolate using a double boiler since many of you don't have a microwave or don't prefer to use a microwave this method is also quite straightforward and easy so i'm having a pot of water just plain regular water boiling uh, on my induction of course you can use your gas stove or whatever kind of stuff electric stove you have and i have my dark uh, compound chopped in a glass bowl of course make sure your glass bowl is heat resistant and you want the bowl to exactly fit into the pan with the boiling water and it should not touch the water but only the steam from the water should touch the bowl okay and uh, just make sure that the or the water is not really like rigorously boiling uh, but uh, a gentle boil which gives out a lot of steam is fine okay so I'm just putting my chocolate again in this the finer you chop your chocolate the uh, easier and quicker your chocolate is going to melt so just put this on and keep stirring occasionally um, and that's about it so even for this method can be used uh, for all kinds of uh, milk and white compound as well uh, because the low heat here and the controlled steady heat uh, kinds of uh, makes it easier and chances of burning of your chocolate are quite less in this when compared to the microwave because it is even heating all around. So you don't have to keep an eye like a very... Uh, you know strict eye on this so the the steam from down will do its job and will melt the chocolate uh, because my chocolate is in slightly bigger chunks it's going to take a little longer but if you've either grated your chocolate or if you've chopped it very very fine then it'll melt quite faster so just keep stirring every minute or so you don't have to be stirring continuously and also if the water below is really boiling uh, too much then you can switch off the heat and let the residual steam do its job okay if you see it's just been about three minutes or so and of course the quantity again which I've taken is less about 250 grams of chocolate I have taken of compound and in about three minutes on high heat it's completely melted and ready to be used so you can use any of the two methods if you have no problem using a microwave um, you can use the microwave uh, but just keep in mind that the burst of uh, exposure in the microwave for all kinds of chocolates shouldn't be too long at one time uh, so if you if you keep that in mind and working with a microwave melting chocolate in the microwave it's quite easy uh, otherwise if you're scared and you know you don't want to burn chocolate and especially if it's large quantity of chocolate then in a large uh, pan on a double boiler works the best and is the safest uh, in terms of burning of the chocolate and overheating of the chocolate is quite minimal in the double boiler method.